Hello, my name is Blair and welcome to another OS. Today we're gonna talk about and look into this Linux lightweight distros. Let's take a look into this uh, as we gonna take a look into the lightweight Linux distros and it only requiring two to four gigabytes of random access memory. I'll be using my 10 year old laptop which is the HP 15 with AMD A6 5200 APU with a GPU with Radeon HD which is about like 10 year old but this one has a 16 core 16 threads which is the Acer Aspire 7 with the AMD Ryzen 7 with the GPU Radeon graphics and NVIDIA GeForce GTX and a memory of 15 but I have to downgrade this into 2 or 4 gigabytes random access memory for the virtualization with the GNOME boxes so let's start our 5 lightweight Linux distro so right now I'm in the Linux Lite desktop environment which is all also in this particular laptop computer that I have. Let's go to the system first so that you could see the system information. So as you can see my Linux Lite it is version 5.8 and it's still running on the AMD. Athlon 6 5200 APU with Radeon HD graphics and at the same time only four cores as you can see and four threads and then one physical processor and I am running still with the 12 gigabytes of random access memory and of course my graphics which is my GPU it's just only HD which is well 1366 by 768 ratio and so that you could see this one I also running in this particular SDA which is our drive C in Linux we don't use drive A drive B drive C or something ish but we have only one particular drive which is the SDA which means the uh, system disk A, system disk B if I have but I don't have and only partition it but we don't classify it as a drive because supposed to be drive is just one and then you partition it that's why we call it is partition like partition 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 as you can see I have partition 1 which is my boot uh, UFI my partition 2 is my big Linux, my partition 3 is my Linux Lite and partition 4 is Ed Ubuntu which is uh, it requires 4 gigabytes of random access memory at least that is the one which is a little bit heavier on this particular computer that I have uh, partition 5 that I have is the Linux Mint cinnamon edition which is also requiring around like four gigabytes of random access memory that's why i have the 11 gigabytes of random access memory and partition 6 is my linux mint fxce which is only requiring two gigabytes of random access memory including my big linux so this one this one and this one all requires only two gigabytes of random access memory while Ed Ubuntu and uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon requires four gigabytes of random access memory so let's go to another distro so right now I'm into the Peppermint OS and this is one of the lightest it is running only with 2 gigabyte of random access memory well as you can see this is one of the lightest uh, distro that I have right here in our lightweight distro Linux so we are now in our Linux Mint FXCE which is the 21.2 version we are running about like less than uh, 1.3 
gigabytes of random access memory it is very light it requires only 2 gigabytes of random access memory to run this Linux Mint 22.2 FXCE and this is one of my daily driver actually so kinda cool right so let's go to another Linux lightweight distro so right now I'm here in my big Linux operating system which is based in Manjaro and Arch and guess what this is a little bit like has a lot of effects and this is based on KDE instead of like the FXCE and this one is a little bit like higher it requires about 2 or 4 gigabytes of random access memory and this one is the classic KDE which is as you can see I'll open the system settings right here can you see the visual it has a very good type of graphics as you can see I'm using the KDE Plasma 5.27.6 already and this is the KDE uh, desktop environment and I only using the four threads and four core of my AMD A6 5200 APU with GPU of Radeon HD which is around like 720 so this is still the HP 15 the 10 year old laptop that I have I think I could remember I could not really like pinpoint what year it was but it's around between 2010 and 2011 when I have this HP 15 as you can see it is only a AMD 6 5200 APU so that is why it is very cool I limit the e-waste of the carbon footprint that we have and this is why I love to use Linux because I have the rights to repair I have the rights to use I have the rights to to upgrade so that is why I lessen the e-waste or the electronic waste that we have in this world and we are living in one particular earth we don't have yet version 2 earth or version 3 earth or maybe planet Mars but or it's still not for humans nor our natural satellite which is our moon or maybe Titan the Jupiter's moon so that's why we need to take care so for you big brands out there please limit your e-waste I know you want to earn but of course think about the e-waste so let's go to our wow I love that FX so let's go to our another Linux lightweight distro which is I'll be using the genome boxes so right now let's go to our virtual machine or virtual box which is based on the genome boxes that I have right here in my computer so actually we are using the Bungie Linux 6 version and this is the enlightened desktop environment that they have and of course it is a little bit like strange and a little bit different compared to other than our FXCE and GNOME and at the same time our KDE desktop environment so this is gonna be the lightest of the lightest of the lightest <laughs> this is gonna be the lightest that I have and of course it's gonna be like different compared to other uh, Linux distro this is the number one for me this is the number one lightest operating system that we have in Linux for 2023 10 year old computers it is very very lightweight so my daily driver is actually Linux Lite 5.8 uh, Linux Mint FXCE and at the same time the big Linux version 3 of 2023 I'm still struggling with Bungie because it is not my daily driver that is the number one lightest operating system to be exact conclusion in our lightweight Linux so our top 
5 is the Linux Lite 5.8 and that is one of my daily driver in my HP 15 on my 10 year old laptop with a 6 5200 and number four is peppermint which is a little bit like a little bit harder and it is also my test operating system number three for me is the linux mint fxce which is the 21.2 as my daily driver on my hp 15 that and of course our number two is the big Linux as a lightweight but it is my main daily driver which is the version 3 of 2023 and the first one lightest lightweight Linux distro I have is the Bungie Linux version 6 which is very light but I'm still struggling to be honest. So anyway, that's it for now. I'm Blair for your OS Lightweight Linux Distro. Catch another episode of OS next time. I'm Blair saying bye for now and see you in the next episode. And remember that science means knowing. That's why science is cool. Ciao.